With all the videos I do, I end up receiving a fairly large number of questions from viewers. A lot of really great questions come in. I actually don't have the time to answer them all. When my channel was a little bit smaller, it was far easier to get to them all. And what I try to do is when I see the most popular questions come in, the same ones over and over again, I try to do a video to answer them. Or if I just get an exceptionally great question, I will try to dedicate a video to answering it. Well, today I wanted to talk about what has got to be the most popular question, or should I say questions that I get. And those would be questions about the Line 6 marketplace how it works, how can I purchase presets, and most of all, how can I use those presets, import them into my Helix Podgo HX Stomp after the fact? Where are my presets? So there's a ton of questions, and I thought what would be a very interesting thing to do is I'm gonna take you from front to end through how we can find a preset, purchase a preset, access that preset, load it up in Helix, and make sure everything is going to be working flawlessly. So now I can just point people to this video when I get these questions, and hopefully this will answer all the questions that anybody has. And I'm going to try to remember to index this to the different topics I talk about throughout this video. So let's get this done as quickly and effortlessly as we can. So first things first, we're over here in HX Edit for Helix Floor. This is gonna be very simple similar if I was using HX Stomp or Helix Rack, Helix LT, HX Stomp XL, or even Podgo just with the Podgo edit software. So one thing you will notice, and something that a lot of folks may not even realize about HX Edit, is down here we have a little My Account heading. If I click on that, it gives me options. You'll notice there's a little empty circle here. It says manage account, get more presets, get more IRs, and sign in. So we're going to talk about the signing in part of this. Number one thing to remember is if we are not signed in to our account that we've used to obtain Line 6 Marketplace presets, we're not going to be able to load them. I'm going to show you that in depth after. So the first thing we would want to do is to be signed in with whatever account we use to purchase the presets. But before that, right from our HX Edit, something a lot of folks may not realize is we can actually hit get more presets or get more IRs. Let's see what happens when we do that. Once I click that, what we notice happens is a new window opens up in our browser and it gives us the ability to get new Helix presets. And what's really interesting about this is Marketplace will automatically say, well, we want presets, the add-on types, and we want from the Helix family because it knows that I was utilizing a Line 6 Helix over here. What happens if we tell it to get more IRs? Well, as we pop over here, you'll notice it says it's for impulse responses. It doesn't give us for Helix or HX Stomp or any particular hardware unit simply because we can use the impulse responses through any of the units. So very interesting stuff. So Right from here, we can go and access the Line 6 Marketplace directly. A very, very useful feature for getting us there quickly. So let's do this. Let's go and say we want to get more presets. Now, what we see, oh, we see this little guy pop up here on the front page a couple times with some of my presets. You're going to see on the side here listed the price points that we can get different presets at and some of the creators. Let's come and click on mine and we'll isolate those. So if you just wanted to see all of my presets, you can get them right here. If I Diselect Helix family, then what you'll see is that I also have presets for Helix, HX Stomp, Podgo, and even the various metallurgy plugins that were recently released. But let's go back and just keep it at Helix. So let's say we perused through this and we found something that we liked. And let's say the Doom Ultimate preset that I released some time ago sounds like something that you might be interested in. Well, we can click on that to go deeper in and find out the details. And what I have here in the overview, it says this preset's based around the Doom Amp model, which is a Line 6 original amp, contains four snapshots of varying drive levels, ranging from push to overdrive times two to lead. It also contains a full array of effects, including compressor, overdrive, phaser, chorus, flanger, vibrato, tremolo, delay, and reverb for the Helix version. To hear how these snapshots work in the mix, you can listen to the demo video. So as we go over here, we can hit the video tab, and there would be my demo video for this particular preset. Now, you're probably just gonna hear it coming through my microphone here.
right? So you can give it that a listen and see if you like it. There's also a support tab here that describes how you can get support. Uh, it gives my direct email here, and this is where I do get a lot of the questions. So I figured I would try to answer some of them here and get people up and running faster. And then there's the end user license agreement that you have to agree to to utilize the preset. So let's say that you're happy with that. You liked my demo, everything sounds great. I'm gonna add this to cart. You'll notice now up in my shopping cart, it is added. I can also click here. So if I'm ready to check out from there, I can say proceed to checkout. Now this takes me over here and tells me that this is gonna cost me $4.99 and I need to sign in to check out. It's got to attach this to an account and this is going back to what I was just talking about a couple minutes ago about signing into HX Edit. This is how you're gonna be able to utilize your preset within HX Edit. So if I say sign in to check out, it's gonna take me to a sign in page and I'm going to now sign in with my Line 6 account. So you'll notice now I'm signed in, so I can say proceed to checkout. And now we're going to have to put our payment through to acquire our preset. Now I'm gonna fill this in. I don't wanna give this information away online here, but I'm gonna get this filled in for the billing information. I'll be right back. Now I got my billing address in there and now it's giving me the ability to review and make the payment. So it's going to give me the payment method I'm going to use PayPal. I then have to agree to the terms and conditions of sale. I'm going to continue through to PayPal. Now, as you can see, I've processed my payment and it's thanking me for using PayPal. Now, it tells me, thank you for your purchase. I get returned over back to the Line 6 Marketplace. It gives me my order number and it says, we'll email you an order confirmation with details and tracking info. I can also just continue shopping. It then gives all the information we need to know to be able to get this working within Helix or Helix Native or Metallurgy and all the different possibilities. Now, I'm not gonna go through this and I have a feeling a lot of people at this point just don't bother reading. They get off of this page and then they go, now what, what do I do? Ideally, we should check our email and see if we actually got a confirmation for it. And we'll do that in just a second. I'm gonna skip over this, not because I'm telling you, you should skip over it, but because I'm gonna cover this information or most of this information inside of our video. But first and foremost, let's go check the email and see if I actually got a confirmation email and how we can actually get our presets. So you'll notice here I received two emails. I have how to authorize your Line 6 product and also invoice for your Line 6 shop order. Let's click on that. And you'll notice that up pops my order. And you'll notice it gives me the detail of my order. Now, what you will notice is there's no place here to actually click to get my preset. From what I understand, and I don't really know this for certain, is that we should get emailed a link. And this is where the number one question I get comes into play. And I've fallen into this as well. I don't know where to get my presets. I got this email. It's confirmed. I've paid for it. I would like to use my preset now, but how do I get it? There's no link here in the email. So it's not really that big a problem if we know where to go. And this is the question that I answer all the time. Where do I get my preset from? Well, if we come back to our Line 6 account that we used to purchase the preset, even on the page we just had where it says, thank you for your purchase, I can come up to the little red man icon up here in the top right. And if I click that one time, you will see a pull down menu with all the options options for our Line 6 account. And you'll notice here, it says Marketplace Downloads. If I click that, what happens is it takes me to my Marketplace Downloads where we can always come back and re-download the presets we purchased right here from our account page. As simple as that. When I click this, it gives me the option to download. I've downloaded my preset. When I click that, drag this into where you can see it. Gives me the ability to now unzip it or extract these files. I open this up and here we have the Doom Ultimate preset and also my little manual that I include with all my Line 6 presets, which gives some nice tips. All right, so now that we're done with that, we want to import this into our Helix. So we're going to use HX Edit to do that. So remember what I told you before. I'm just going to move this out of the way for now. We go down to my account. Notice I'm not signed in right now. So I am going to simply take my preset. I can grab this. I can drag and drop it, but watch what happens. 
says, are you sure you want to overwrite the highlighted presets? And yes, I do. It does not drag it in. It says HX Edit was unable to import this preset because the required license was not found. The following product packs are available for purchase from Line 6 Marketplace. If you have already purchased these packs, here's the important part. Please sign into the server to synchronize your licenses. So I need to come down here and sign in to the account that I used to make the purchase. And let's do that right now. It tells me that I'm now signed in. And if I come back over to my Doom Ultimate preset I just purchased, I drag that in. And it now shows up. There is the preset. Now, here's the thing about this. You'll notice there's a little golden pick beside it. And a lot of folks have asked me this question. This golden pick, what does it mean? This means you're using a premium preset, purchase preset from the Line 6 Marketplace, and it's going to require the proper file license showing that you actually purchased it. So you have to be logged into your account, and then it will show up right here with this gold pick. But then here it is. I have my preset. It should work perfectly fine now, and we should have access to this on our Helix. And from there, we should just be off to the races. <laughs> And as was advertised, we have different snapshots. And it seems to be working just fine. So there you have it from front to end, finding a preset on the marketplace, whether you access it directly from HX Edit or just go to the Line 6 Marketplace site itself, making the purchase, finding your preset. That's the number one thing I get asked. Where's my preset? I didn't receive an email with a link to it. Where is it? Not to panic. A lot of people get a little bit upset about it and it's understandable. You've just made a purchase. You'd like your product and now what? Now you got to contact somebody. You have to contact support. It is a little frustrating. I understand that. I've been in that boat myself with, with other companies as well where something just doesn't work. And you know, it's a funny thing now with spam filters on email and other settings. Sometimes things just don't get through the way that they should work, and it's not really anybody's fault. Uh, the folks at Line 6 do a really great job in trying to work these bugs out and get everybody settled away, but sometimes it's just tough to get. But I'm always there if you have any questions. If you've purchased one of my presets, please do not hesitate to reach out, and I will absolutely 100% get back to you as quickly as I can and get you sorted out. I will have that for you. ASAP as soon as I can possibly get it to you. But hopefully by watching this video and kind of understanding the process a little bit better, knowing where those preset assets that you just purchased are actually living and you can go get them anytime you want from any device that you can log into your account with, I think that's gonna fix the problem for a lot of people where they can just know, okay, fine, I didn't get an email with a download link, that's fine. I'm just gonna come over here, I'm gonna click and download it and I'm gonna be up and running in seconds without any issue. Just remembering to also log into the proper account. Myself, I have two Line 6 accounts for different reasons. Uh, if I'm logged into the wrong one, that preset's not going to import properly. Another very important point to bring up, please make sure that you have the latest firmware on your Helix and also, and this is super important, the latest version of HX Edit on your computer that you're utilizing. If not, if you're using a preset with models from a more recent firmware, your preset will not function properly and you'll get these error messages telling you that, that there's certain models that are missing and that's never fun. And that's another question I get that I did a video about a while back. So make sure your HX edit software is up to date to the latest version. I can't stress that enough. Super, super important. And it's always great to have that new latest firmware for our Helix or HX Stomp or Helix Native for that matter, so that we're getting all the benefits of the newest firmware. So I hope I didn't miss anything. I hope that that was helpful and I hope that that'll help answer some of those questions that some folks have. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're so inclined, please go take a look at some of my presets over on the Line 6 Marketplace and uh, the purchases that happen there help support my channel and help me to keep making content that so many people tell me they're enjoying. And I, I really do appreciate you guys always tuning in and leaving the great comments. Thank you guys so much. Even if I don't have time to answer all of them, I do apologize. I wish I had more time in the day to be able to get to all of them. I do my best and I, I will continue to try to do my best to answer as many as I I can. So thank you guys again so much for tuning in. Please like the video and please share this with anybody who you think would get some use out of watching it. Also subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. I'll be back really soon with some more. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in and sharing your time with me. Ciao for now.